you are watching a 123sonography.com video. We provide innovative teaching materials on echocardiography. Please visit us at www.123sonography.com to see more. The fourth chamber view is probably one of the most uh, important views in echocardiography. First of all, it's um, a view where we see very many structures. And then it's also a view from which we can find all the other structures more easily. <coughs> so I'll show you how to uh, orient the view and then also which details you can depict. The four chamber view should be oriented in such a way that the septum is parallel to the ultrasonic beam. It is furthermore important to really check that the atria are as large as possible because if you're down like this, then you don't have an optimal four-chamber view. So you have to tilt until you really get large atrias. And if you do so, you can see the following structures. We have the lateral wall of the left ventricle. We have the septum. We have the right ventricle with a moderator band. We have the lateral wall of the right ventricle. Then we have the left atrium, the right atrium, interatrial septum with the fossa valis. We have the tricuspid valve with the septal leaflet and here the mitral valve with the anterior leaflet, the posterior leaflet. If we want to go into more details we can even see the pulmonic valves as they enter the left atrium. This is the right upper pulmonic uh, um, vein, not valve of course, the right pulmonic vein. Those are the left pulmonic veins, the lower and the upper, and here you would see the descending aorta, the orthogonally uh, cut it, or orthogonally uh, uh, visualized descending aorta. <coughs>